This is to the left of us is Worthy Bend on the Murray River Reserve side and to the right of us on the right hand side of the Murray River track is the Gunbower National Park. So that area dogs aren't allowed but to the left of us in the Murray River Reserve dogs are allowed in this area. So we'll go in and have a look at it. Much of the area along here along the Murray River at least between Echuca and Coondrip looks like this. Obviously the river is higher uh, on the other side of the weir which is where Tarubbery is. This is on the lower side, this is more the fishing side. The other side is more the houseboats and uh, speedboats. So there's all little tracks that drift off um, when you come off the main road. For much of the area it's quite clear you can see through it. Uh, there you do get some areas where it's quite shrubby and you can't see through it. So we'll just see if we can drift down here a bit. We're just reversing out because I don't particularly, there's people staying ahead of us and I don't want to go in and be annoying. But that's the Murray River straight ahead of us, a great spot to be staying. I don't particularly think there's many bad spots along the Murray River. Obviously uh, some are going to have more wildlife than others. We haven't seen any kangaroos or such. No kangaroos, emus or wallabies. I'm not sure if you can see, quite often there's people have painted on the trees, signposts, they normally leave messages, notes, arrows, all sorts of things so they can guide people when they're coming in. Maybe it was more before mobile phone days, I'm not sure, but at least you can tell your mates where you are because you can get quite lost in here. So obviously everybody camps, that was a bit of a doozy. Everybody camps around the outside, nobody really camps on the inside, so everybody wants to see the river. And that's obviously why we all stay here, because it's the Murray River and there's a lot of activities that you can do here. A two-wheel drive can get through, I would say most of the time. I would say it's a lot harder when the tracks are... Uh, let's go down this track, when the tracks are wet. So when, yeah, obviously in winter time or when there's been a heavy downfall, um, that parts of the tracks when we were driving in were quite rutted out and, and very difficult. So you can see how you can see through the trees a lot. I think they're river gums. So on, I think it's on the Gunbow side, they quite often flood the um, the park. Is that bloke there right in front of us having fun in the mud? Got to watch the roads um, on the edges. It's quite soft and muddy. It might look like it's hard. Uh, the rest of the road's hard, but um, where it's got the um, the water and stuff, and on the on the sides where the water would have been sitting a bit more, it is quite hard. Uh, it is quite soft and you can get boggy quite easily. Yeah, so straight in front of us is the uh, Gumbower National Park. Oh, I don't want to get snowflake dirty. So this part is where they bend. And then they've got a whole series of bends that go up and down and that's where the majority of people will go into, the bends. And then along this little strip here, and this happens throughout the drive along the track, is that you'll get little areas where you can camp right alongside the roadside and alongside the, the river. 
it can be a really great space spot to park as long as um, you know it's not too dusty I think in summertime it gets really really dusty Maybe it's just called the river track. The other one was called Bremley track. Oh, car. I'll pull over here, because I think just a little bit further up, it's quite soft and slippery. Yes, we are driving around in a four wheel drive. And I know that we can get out of these areas, but sometimes it's easier not to get stuck. So in the Murray River Reserve area, you're, you can bring your dogs. This is called, uh, at Worthy Point, and for most of it, there is an area down further towards Gumbower that has toilets, but this is, uh, doesn't have toilets, so you've got to supply everything you bring in, basically. You take out all that sort of stuff. So you should have your toilets. Uh, be self-sufficient. Yeah, so this area is... Uh, an unofficial campsite, it does not have toilets. And there is firewood that you can drift around and pick up. So these people that I've got the camera on right now are our neighbours and they've got their generator running which is, yes, highly annoying. This is a Murray River track. You can see the water on the sides that rained here a couple of weeks ago and it's been quite warm ever since. So it takes a little bit of time for it to dry out in places. The roads have got a pretty firm base for the most part. Uh, some parts were really rutted out. So you just gotta be a bit careful. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Please press the subscribe button. You know what to do. And it encourages us to do more campsite reviews as we travel around and do our stuff. And we'll catch you in the next video.